Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial slash screencast where today I'll be teaching you how to set up a IMAP mail server in Debian with the packages Postfix and Dovecot. We will be authenticating with TLS slash SSL today. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am running a VMware workstation with a mail client and a mail server. A server should always have a static IP. So let's open this with our favorite text editor, nano, etc. network interfaces. Right here, you can see that I've chose a static IP and I've chose auto ETH0. This will make your interface go up and down automatically. So let's pick an address, a gateway and a net mask for our desired network and let's get out of here. Every single time you edit the interfaces config file, make sure to do a service networking restart. This way, every single change in the config file will be applied. And if we have some patience, the service will restart automatically. And after restarting the networking service, we could do a IF config to check if our IP address has been applied. And yes, so let's see if we can ping that from our mail client. Ping, and then the IP address of the server. And yes, we can ping from the client to the server. Let's see if we can do it the other way around. So my IP here is 0.1.9. So let's ping it from the server to the client. And we're off to a good start. We can ping both devices. So we're in the same network. For this tutorial, I chose to use a bind 9 DNS server. So if we go into nano, etc., bind, and then I show you the zone file, you'll see that I've made some A records for NS, sudo mail, and mail itself. So this is just some basic A records. If you're using a DNS server, make sure that you do the same thing. Then we go over to the client and we also make sure that we are using that DNS server so we can resolve every single thing that we just made an A record for. So we go to network and we check if our DNS server is the same. So we can get out of here. And every single time you use bind, make sure to also include the zone file in named.conf, which is right here. Make sure to include the file as you can see right here. So, so we can go ahead and app get install postfix. So we install the postfix package. The minus Y is just so we don't have to type Y ourselves. We will be prompted with a screen and we choose internet site. Right here, we enter the qualified domain name that we want. So if we want to use tom at tutomail.com, we choose tutomail.com. Let's go. And now Postfix will be creating every single config file that we need. So we have to be a little patient. Because we're using TLS and SSL, we'll need some certificates. So we'll need a private key. We also need a certificate sign request and we will request the certificate itself. So let's go ahead and type in OpenSSL. We need to generate an RSA key with the parameter uh, DES3. We want to output that into tutomail.key. So this is our private key. We need to enter a passphrase that we will remember. So test one, two, three. We'll need this throughout the whole tutorial. So be sure to pick one that you'll remember. Then we have to set the correct uh, permissions for that file. So chmod 600 and then tutomail.key. We also need to generate a certificate sign request. So we go ahead and type in open SSL. We request with our private key, that is tutomail.key. And we output a tutomail.csr, a certificate sign request. This way we can request a certificate. We need to enter that same passphrase. So test one, two, three. There we go. This doesn't really matter. So we can skip through it and clear the screen. With that certificate sign request, we can request an actual certificate. So we need to go ahead and type in open SSL. X509. We need to request a certificate for 365 days, so which will count for a whole year. And we put in our certificate sign request. So tutomail.csr. And we will sign that with our private key, which is tutomail.key. And then we will output that to the certificate that we need. So tutomail.crt. There we go. Now we have to specify our same passphrase again. 
So right now, every single time we want to access our private key, we have to specify a passphrase. We don't want to do this all the time. So we will generate something that is called a no pass. So we put in our private key and we want to output that to a tudo no pass. So that way we don't have to use the passphrase every single time. But now we still have to. So let's type it in, test one, two, three. There we go. Let's clear the screen. And right now we just have to move that no pass into the original key. So move tudomail.key.no pass into tudomail.key. Right now we still have to create a certificate authority. So let's type in OpenSSL. We need to request a new certificate authority. So X509, we want to use the extension version 3 of the certificate authority. So version 3, certificate authority and we want to out that into uh, ca key.pem so we create a key and we also would like to create a certification so ca cert.pem and we want that to last a whole year so days 365 we need to enter a passphrase the same passphrase again and this doesn't really matter as i said before so let's skip through it and clear the screen now we still have to set the right permissions for every single file that we made so chmod 600 tudomail.key we have to do the same thing for uh, cakey.pem once we're done with the permissions we still have to move every single certificate and key into the right directory so let's go ahead and move tudomail.key into etc ssl private we need to move tudomail.crt so the certificate into etc ssl certs Then we still have to move our CA, so our certificate authority. So let's move CA certificate authority key.pem into etc. SSL private. And then we still have to move our certificate authority certificate itself into etc. SSL certificate. There we go. Once we're done with moving every single file to the right directory, we can go ahead and configure postfix. So we can do this with our favorite text editor into etc. postfix main.cf. This is actually the main config file. So if we have to apply changes, we'll do this in here. So let's make sure that we will use um, my domain and set that to tudomail.com, which is our fully qualified domain name for the, the mail address as well so let's put my origin dollar sign my domain so this is just showing my origin to use the parameter my domain so it's also tudomail.com and since we will be using postfix and dovecot we will be using the same mailbox so we need the right directory so let's specify this by typing in a home mailbox and let's set this to mailder slash then we also need to specify that we will be using no mailbox command because we won't be using this proc mail so we can put this into comments there we go and leave mailbox underscore command empty we also need to specify some things for sasl so smtpd sasl and we will say that we will be using dovecot and then we need to specify some authenticating stuff so smtpd SASL path, private authentication, and then we still have to enable it. So let's do this by typing in SMTPD, SASL, authentication, enable, and then yes. So we're all done with this. Once we're done with editing the main.cf postfix config, we could also just do the same thing with postconf minus E. So perhaps we want to edit some lines in the config, but we don't want to open this with our favorite text editor. So we can do postconf minus E and let's say SMTPD TLS oath only no, because we will be using SSL as well. Then we have to specify that we will use TLS for SMTP and SMTPD. So both SMTPD and SMTP use TLS, yes. And we have to specify some other basic SMTP and SMTPD um commands as well so smtp tls node star tls offer to yes so we offer a tls service when we connect to uh, the mail server we also need to specify 
the private key that we've made. So SMTP TLS key and then our file. So this is just showing the directory that we've put the keys in. So etc. SSL private uh, to mail dot key. And then we also have to specify our certificate that we've generated. So cert file is etc. SSL search to mail dot CRT. We also have to specify our CA, so our certificate authority that we've created. So CA file is etc. SSL search slash CA cert dot PEM. Then we also have to still configure some basic SMTP TLS stuff. Like log level, we have to enable the log level so we can see the log files. We have to put received header one. These are just some basic commands that have to be in the config to work. And we also have to do a cache timeout. So session cache timeout set to 3600 seconds. And that's basically it. And then we'll see that all these um, lines have been added to the postfix main.cf. So let's go ahead and enter etc. postfix main.cf. Let's scroll to the bottom. So those have been added right here. But let's check if everything is correct now. So we've entered our certification, our private. These lines have been added. Um, let's clear some space space right here so we can see the difference between SASL and TLS. There we go. Um, and everything should be all set. Just make sure that you pause the video to check if everything is correct for your liking. And that's basically it. Now we can service postfix restart to see if postfix restart without crashing. And that's the case. And now we can check the status if we have any errors. And no, it's running perfectly fine. We have no errors, so that's good. Right now, we can get into installing Dovecot. So we need the package called Dovecot Common, and we also need Dovecot IMAPD, since we're using a IMAP server. And it's Dovecot, not Dovecom. There we go. We need to wait because Dovecot will make every single file that we need. Our config files will be in Dovecot conf D, which I will show in a quick second. So we go into etc. Dovecot conf D. And if we do an ls right here, we'll see that every single file that we need is in here. So let's start off with um, 10-ssl.conf. We need to specify that we will be using SSL, so we have to set required. And then we have to set our certification um, directory and our key directory. So let's clear this line and use etc. SSL and then certs. And let's use our tutomail.crt. And then we also have to specify our private key, which is SSL private dash tuto mail dot key. And I messed up. So this is CRT. All right. And everything should be set in this config file. So let's get out of there. And now we still have to edit some other config files like the authentication. Right here, we have to clear this out. So we use plain text odd. And that's basically it for this file. Then we still have to configure something in the 10 .master config, And right here, we have to specify that we will be using uh, postfix with Dovecot. So we need to find um, Unix listener for postfix. Here we are. So let's take this out of comments and the mode as well. And we have to specify our user and our group. So Let's use the same indentation, user postfix. And we also have to use group postfix. And that's it. So we can exit this file and save what we have just edited. And now we still have to configure mail.conf. So here we have to specify that we will be using mail there. The same thing as we did in postfix. So make sure to comment this line out because 
if we use uh, Melder with Postfix, we also have to specify that we use Melder for uh, Dovecot as well. Otherwise, we will be able to send mails and not receive them or the other way around. So inbox, yes. And then we have to find mail privilege group. If you want to search with, search with Nano, you can do Control W and then search whatever you're looking for. So right here, mail privilege group, we have to set this to mail so we can access var mail. There we go. And now we can go ahead and just uh, restart the Dovecot service. So service Dovecot restart. It restarts without a problem. And we can check status if we have issues or not. So we have no issues. So Postfix and Dovecot are running correctly. The last thing that we have to do on the server is create users for our mail. So let's go ahead and add a user. Let's say Tom and enter, enter. We need to specify a password. So one, two, three, clear this. And then we have to add another user. Um, let's add the user called Sam. Another password, enter, enter, and we're done. So right now we can go and enter our username in Thunderbird on the mail client. So Tom at tutomail.com with the correct password. We continue and this should work just fine. Then we click done and now we will get a pop-up. So this is just saying that we are using a certificate that, cre that we created ourselves. So we have to confirm the security exception. There we go. And now we add Sam as well. So add mail, Sam, Sam at tutomail.com. We enter the password, we press continue and we're all said and done. So right now we should be able to send mails but we'll probably get another pop-up for the certificate. So let's send a mail from Tom to Sam. So let's write a mail to Sam at tutomail.com with a test subject and some test text. Let's send it. This probably won't work. Yes, so we have to find the certificate error. So let's, yeah, right here. So we have to confirm the security exception and right now we should be able to send a mail. And as we can see, Sam just got an email in his inbox. So let's see if we can answer that. So let's reply to sender only. And let's say it worked and we send it back. And here we go. And Tom has a mail in his inbox. So the mail server is working correctly. If by any chance some things aren't working, you could always go into the mail server and type in tail minus F. So you get a live presentation of var log syslog. Every single log from the system will be in here. So if we go back to our mail client and we send a mail, we should be seeing some logs in the server. So let's send a mail from Sam to Tom. Tom add to the mail and then we just choose a, ch a subject and a text. We send it. We should be able to see that in the mail server. So we Right here, you can see every single log file that we just used to send a mail. And if you want to see a uh, specific for the mails only, you could type in tail minus F to get a live presentation of var log mail dot log. And now you will only see log files for the mail service itself. If you use syslog, you'll see every single thing that has been logged to the server. If you are wondering where the mails are stored on the server, you should go into uh, home and then the username. So for us, it's Tom or Sam. So let's take Tom. We can do an LS here and we see that we have a mail directory. So let's CD into the mail directory. And then we have current, new and temporary mails. So let's send a new mail from Sam to Tom, tom at tutomail.com. And let's say subject, hello. And we add some text, hello as well. And we send it. If we go into our current mails, we should be able to see a mail that we have just sent. So let's just do an LS right here and we can see that we have three emails. So let's just open up one with our favorite text editor. So let's choose nano 1480 and then we just specify, let's take the last one that we've sent. And when we open up this mail, we should be seeing that we send an email with the subject hello and we also added some text hello. So right here, subject hello and some text hello. So that is basically it guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment and I'll try to get to you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.